shut this one off, this turns off all of the 12 volts going to the RV. When you shut this one off, it shuts off the 12 volt going to the mobile device. Hi, we are Mike and Leanna of the Dry Campers. And this is Cindy. She's our current client and she's also a pretty good sign interpreter. <laughs> we thought this would be a cool little take and it would be a little bit different. This is a Grand Design Solitude 2930RL right, and we put in the minimum AC, minimum package uh, for AC which is four batteries a 3000 watt inverter 150 slash 100 MPPT and a 712 battery monitor uh, this one since it only has one inverter we also did install the automation so that it connects leg one and leg two whenever you unplug from shore power uh, that way so that the inverter will run the entire coach um, some of the challenges with this one we had a residential fridge so we had to keep the inverter and then tie the power that goes to that um, refrigerator inverter into the multi-plus so that whenever the multi-plus loses power so does the um, residential inverter so that they both will start inverting and then the fridge power will not be subtracted from the multi-plus. That way, so you have a full 3000 watts to run the RV and then the fridge is standalone on its own inverter. Everything is automatic. You don't have to do any uh, switching buttons. Um, the customer had been watching some of my videos and he did the, the basement mod. The original basement used to come right here like this if you see these screw holes and then it kind of just kept going that way and then angled over towards the wet bay which is along this wall right here down at the other end he had a, a compartment here and a compartment here he did have a shelf on the top but what i did was i wanted to preserve this space because it was a really good idea i like the way that that he designed it so i did tear it out and rebuilt everything so that it's a lot more structural so that you know it's it's part of the rv now it's not going anywhere um, along the back i have four batteries of the batterborn 100 amp batteries um, the inverter and all the the power connections for the multi plus do recess in between the planks of two by sixes and then there's also the uh, toilet sewer pipe that comes down through so I put which it made this area kind of dead space so I went ahead and put the existing inverter in that spot and to help the thing the uh, system breathe I did leave the top open so that it can exhaust um, in all of this area up here and also come out into this direction here the satellite roof access on this one was a little different too when you walk up the steps at the top of the steps you'll turn right and go up the next set of steps and then there's a cabinet there when you open that cabinet that's where the electrical panel is so the roof access in this one actually when you take the plate on the roof off it leads to a chase that goes down behind that um, uh, the breaker panel for the RV and then it, it turns 90 and then goes further back and then comes down over on the basement wall very very far over that way you can't even really see it uh, because of all the plumbing and, and uh, uh, wiring but um, nonetheless uh, it was not that difficult to fish this one so um, all said and done we ended up with all of this floor space for storage containers I didn't really have to recess anything into the wall uh, the only thing that he lost per se was a, a section of about this big and he kept all of his original basement modification storage space. Um, he also did gain, he had two batteries in the front bay, which 
um, he gained all of that floor space all the way to the roof now because um, we had taken all of that out. In this system on the roof we have four solar panels totaling 1320 watts. The power comes into the solar charge controller and then into the lithium batteries. With the stored energy from the batteries, the inverter can run anything in the RV, including the residential fridge or an AC unit. The system also has an automation relay that allows everything in the RV to run through the inverter. The reason this system has lithium batteries instead of lead acid is because of the weight of the lead acid is twice as heavy as the lithium batteries and despite the lightness of the lithium they are twice as powerful for example the four batteries in here would be equivalent to eight lead acid batteries The lead acid is, would be over 500 pounds of batteries. So when Cindy and Ed are driving down the road, the solar panel is keeping the batteries charged while running the fridge and keeping all of the food cold. When they arrive at the campground, even after the sun has gone down, everything in the RV still works because of the stored energy in the lithium batteries. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Cindy. Yes, thank you, Cindy, very much. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, and don't forget that hit that dingy bell ringy thingy. See you guys. We are the dry campers, Leanne and Mike. We make you feel pampered if solar power you'd like. We'll install lithium and panels up on top. No more worrisome, your electric will stop. What makes us special is that we come to you. Get on our schedule, your worries are through. When Mike is done, you'll have more room. Boondocking, here we come, our freedom looms. We are the dry campers, Leanne and Mike. We make you feel pampered or solar power you'd like. We'll install lithium and panels up on top. No more worrisome, your electric will stop. Mike's the electrician, he really knows his stuff. Leanna's on a mission and this is no bluff. She videos his work to YouTube she brings. So subscribe and click that dingy bell ring thing. We are the dry campers, Leanna and Mike.